Today's art project is marker and water tie-dye prints. This is a super fun technique. You will need a bunch of materials. So here they are. The first thing you definitely need are washable markers. So not colored Sharpies. Those won't work. You will also need some tin foil or a plastic bag to draw on with your marker. You'll also need paper and something to get your paper wet. A spray bottle is the best if you've got it. If not, just a really wet sponge or even a wet paper towel is fine too. And the very last thing I'm gonna use, which you don't have to, is a Sharpie. Now I'm going to design a t-shirt for my project. You don't have to do this. You could draw kind of any picture you want, but you do have to use something waterproof. If you wanna draw a t-shirt, I would draw a big letter U for the neck, some lines for the sleeves, go down a little bit, back in, down again to make a rectangle and close it up. I also made mine like a ringer T and drew a picture in the middle. You can write some words, whatever. It's your fashion. Now grab your tin foil or your plastic bag and we're gonna make a tie-dye type pattern to print onto our shirt. I like to find markers that go next to each other on the color wheel or in the rainbow. Those look the best when they mix together. I'm gonna start in the middle and make lines around it kind of like rays of a sun. You wanna use a lot of ink and fill up even past the space where your paper is gonna be because you don't want any empty white space. Let me just check and see. Hmm, I think I need just a little more color. Once you're done coloring with your washable markers, it's time to get your water. So if you have a spray bottle, again, this is the best. Hold it pretty far away and spray until the colors start to like smoosh together a little bit. Smoosh. I'm gonna just wait a sec. All right, I think it's ready. Now I'll put my picture on top, give it a little rub on the back, make sure to get the corners and Oh, that's great. So I probably could have used a little more water on the edges, but I like the way that looks. Once that's dry, you can let it be, or you could cut it out and turn it into a little summer self-portrait or fashion show. Now let me just show you what this technique looks like if you're using a plastic bag or if you need to use a sponge or paper towel instead of a sprayer. So you color on the plastic bag the same exact way, still works really well. And then instead of putting water on the bag, you want to wet your paper, like get it really wet. I really covered it with the sponge and then to make sure I'm even like squeezing some extra water out and spreading it because you want to make sure this technique works. You put it on top, give it a little rub-a-dub-a-dub-a. Oh yeah, I even, I almost like that better because you can see your marker strokes. So there we go, a fun technique to try. You could draw any picture you want and make a tie-dyed print on top of it. You can also draw on the paper after it's dry.